You know, we take our power back by being honest with ourselves. And what I mean by that is being completely honest with yourself. And that is being honest in relationships that you're in, whether it's um, family, children, a mate, anyone, any kind of relationship that you're in. It's about being brutally honest about your likes and your dislikes, your yes and your no's. When you begin to take your power back and speak your truth, there's a different kind of energy that you will begin to possess. And not until we are honest with ourself first, and that requires self-analyzation and going within, um, can we be honest with anybody else? And once you become honest with yourself, I'm going to say it's pretty much damn near impossible. And it's a waste of time to even try to lie to someone else also. So being honest with you first is the actual way to take your power back. And allow you to live a very peace-filled life. An inner peace-filled life. Um, you know, so many people have this issue with saying the word no for various different reasons, you know. Um, and saying the word no, it's a part of the self-preservation, self-love, self-care pack. Saying no will keep you from doing things that you really didn't want to do in the first place anyway it has kept me from doing things i really did not want to do in the first place um it kept me from having an attitude because i'm doing something i did not want to do or it kept me from having kept me from have doing something that i did not want to do so i will say no with a smile on my face it's always been one of my favorite words and no is a huge component of being honest with yourself it's a huge component of that um you know, selfishness is a huge part of being honest with yourself. You have to understand, you will learn to understand moments when you need to retreat and be with just you because you need to hear your thoughts. You need to clear yourself out from um, your day or just months or years where you have allowed the world to just pour itself on you. And now you need this time, this me time, so that you can regroup and figure things out. Being honest is the quickest and one of the easiest and really simplest ways to take your power back. But you have to get rid of that guilt and that worry. Um, what's another big thing? Um, that concern for others when you start walking on this path of honesty and really and truly loving yourself. You cannot be concerned about how those behind you, standing on side of you or in front of you, will feel with you doing what you need to do to make sure that your temple, that your house is in order. You understand what I'm saying? You cannot be concerned about them because guess what? You can teach them by your actions that by being honest, I'm teaching you how to love on you as well. I'm teaching you something by my actions and by my words. So people speak about being this change that you want to see in this world. The world needs this. The world needs that. Um, you are that world that, it, that needs itself. So many people don't talk about that. You are the world that needs itself. And you need you to be honest with you in order for you to heal and be happy and live a productive life according to your terms. And your honesty is required in order for you to live that life. So take your power back by being honest to yourself and then stroll out into this beautiful realm and be honest with others. Teach them something that someone else, teach and show them something and share something with them that no one else may not have ever done. Give them the gift of life, which is themselves. Give them that. If you want to give somebody something, hand them the keys to themselves.